Hey everyone, it's Ashleena. Welcome back to my channel. Hi to my subscribers, my patrons, my super thankers, to all of you who support this channel. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ashleena. I do reactions here on YouTube and I have over 340-ish videos, so I'm sure there's something uh, that you'll enjoy, whether it be a specific artist or a specific song. If I haven't done it, feel free to jump in the comments and let me know. All right, guys, it's Friday, October 20th and Blink-182's album is out. So we're reacting to it. I have already reacted to One More Time and Dance With Me, so I will link them in the description below where you can watch those. But for now, let's get into the rest of this album. I haven't reacted to a Blink-182 album since nine, and obviously this is 10, but I hated nine. So if you wanna watch my reaction to that, it's also on my channel. Um, and I have mentioned before that obviously I'm a giant Blink-182 fan. I have been uh, for a very, very long time. I think the only album I haven't actually listened to was California. Uh, so I might have to do a reaction to that one day. So let's get into this. I'm excited. I know this video is going to be blocked by YouTube and will take like three days to get disputed. So I want to do this as quickly as possible. So let's get into it. Okay, this song is called Anthem Part 3, and if you know, you know. Gotta work with my levels here. That's loud. You know what? No, I need lyrics. I need lyrics. I'm so excited. This album is going to be so good. Is anyone getting nostalgic vibes right now? Because oh, that song was awesome. I think every Anthem song they've ever done has been awesome. But 
Uh, I feel like they're really digging in deep here along the lines of their friendship and the things that happened to them when they were in a band. And I feel like that's going to be a reoccurring theme in this album. So I feel like I'm just going to cry this whole album. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I did find lyrics for Anthem Part 3, and I just want to read some of them. It's like, mm, they're so good. Everything that we've tried will keep walking up to that light. We'll see rising of a new tide. We are starting up a new life. When your head is hanging too low, when your heart is about to explode, you can make it anywhere. Go. There's no fear when you get here. Give up the ghost. And then verse two, when your dreams just seem like they're dead, like embalming deep in your head, when your job has gone to deep shit, if you've fallen off that list, when you're clenching both your fists like you aimed and then you just missed, let the record show that you're fixed. Don't you give up now. Just get up and resist. And the chorus, this time I won't be complacent, the dreams I gave up and wasted, a new high, a new ride, and I'm on fire. My hope shit ends here tonight. So good. And after you had the time of your life flatlined and led toward the light, you'll despair the wreckage and find no one gave a fuck that you died. Come on, guys. Woo! The lyrics are hitting me hard today. Goddamn, they're so fucking talented. The drumming in the song was fire. Like, I can't even deal with how good of a drummer Travis Barker is. Like, he's absolutely insane. We're going to skip the song Dance With Me because I've already reacted to it, so I will link that somewhere, obviously, in my description as well. We're going to jump into Fell In Love. I fell in love with the girl at the rock show. That's the first thing that came into my head. Good thing it was a Blink-182 song. A little bit of clapping, which is weird. Late nights feeling kind of lonely Drive home, no one's waiting for me I don't miss I needed you You needed me It's crazy Do you remember the time when we first met? You were at a party with your ex I said alone and I got drawn Do you remember the time we fell in love? Do you remember the night when you came over? Playing songs, laying on my shoulder What a cute song. Okay, so flipping good. Can I just say that Mark and Tom's vocals sound amazing? Like, they sound fantastic. I don't know, man. When Mark hits those certain notes, like, I get chills. It's the weirdest thing. And Tom sounds fantastic. And I'll be completely honest. When I went to their concert in Toronto, uh, when was that? In June? My God, was it that long ago? I can't remember. Um, I was actually in shock of how great they sounded live. Like, vocally. Obviously, I know they can play their instruments, but vocally, I was like, damn, like, they sound real good. It's just so impressive that um, they still sound as good as they used to. Especially Tom, because he has such a weird voice. It's very distinctive. God damn, it sounds so good. Okay, let's listen to Terrified. Honestly, this sounds like an epic Blink-182 album so far, so I'm thrilled. Ooh! I can feel my body and nothing else here matters at all. The sheets become a I 
I hope he hits that terrified line on hard. Tom. Ah. Okay, that song was gangster. Okay, Terrified is the reworked boxcar racer song Travis stated will be on the album, even though he had said before it would never see the light of day. Um, producer Aaron Rubin gave a vague answer to a question if Dance With Me was the reworked song as was thought for a long time and if the song would appear at all weirdly place capital letters in the answer form terrified that's so funny weirdly place capital letters in his answer form the song terrified that does sound like a boxcar racer song that, that i was like this is a little hard for blink so good guys i'm so excited to get my vinyl it should be coming today before 10 p.m via amazon I'm very excited can bet your booty that I will be doing a vinyl opening tomorrow on the day it's released, even if it comes at 10 p.m. So we're going to skip one more time, which is the next song, because I've already reacted to it. So let's get into More Than You Know. <gasps> a slow song? Yes, please. Oh. Getting ready. love that noise so much. That is a fucking epic song. Favorite song off the album so far. I think I said that already, but I can't get over how good that song is. Uh, so More Than You Know is Tom's favorite song on the album. We have the same taste, Tom. He likes it the most for the rad double bass drums Travis put together for it. Okay, yes, this song was released with One More Time. I just never listened to it because I was kind of waiting to do the full album. Um, but I obviously wanted to do Dance With Me because there was a music video for it. But I was a little bit worried as well because like I'm... I only really buy vinyls of albums that I really love. Like I have to love at least half or more of it, preferably all of it. I'm so glad I ordered this vinyl. Okay, let's listen to Turn This Off. If you're 
All right, let's listen to turn this off. Let me get my lyrics back up. I don't know why I have like 30,000 tabs open. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Turn this off. Okay, let's go. If you're too sensitive, we'll turn this off. If you're offended by these words, then please fuck off. If you're an asshole with good dick, then that's something I can lick. Then maybe we can call ourselves partologists. When I first took you out to sushi on a date, you took me on my stabby fuck away On your stomach, face your ass It's your fault that I came back So don't blame it on me, that's what you think Oh my god Is it really a Blink-182 album If they don't have a really quick, fast song About dicks Or shit Or assholes Or something disgusting No literally reminded me of uh it's christmas eve and i've only wrapped two fucking presents christmas eve and i've only wrapped two fucking presents and i hate 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 your guts i hate 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 your guts and i'll never talk to you again unless your mom will suck me off i remember going to the concert and telling my husband who came with me I'm like do you know that song and i sang it to him he's like that's not real and i was like no it's actually a blink 182 song and i'm like you know it'd be so great and i said you know what would be so great if they actually played it and they did and I was so happy. Let me see if I can find it for you. It made my life. <laughs> Sounded so bad. And then they did it again and cut all the lights out, which was sick. Um, but yeah, it did not sound good. It was just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but I loved every second of it. Okay, we are at When We Were Young. Oh God, this is gonna be sad. running in this song. Sounds like gunshots. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just so focused on Travis's drumming that I legit don't listen to the song. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I think I'm freezing. That's not good. Okay, not sure why my whole video just froze, so my apologies, but we're back. We're fine. Okay, so the next song is called Edging. If you know, they already have a song called Edging. So I'm confused. Is this the same song just on this album? Okay, sorry, I got confused. So obviously I know the song Edging uh, because it came out last year, uh, but it makes sense because they throw it on this album because it wasn't on an album. It was just a single. So do we listen to it? Such a good song. I ain't that cool, a little fuck in the head. They'll be hanging me quick when I'm back from the dead. Get the rope. Don't you know? Don't you know? 
So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to react to a song I've already heard, but obviously you can tell I love it very much. So yeah, the title caught me off guard because I was like, this song is old. Like what's going on? But then I'm like, oh, duh, it was a single. All right, let's listen to You Don't Know What You've Got. Ooh. Oh, I already love it. Waiting room. You don't know what you got. You don't know what you got. Another day in the life. You can't look me in the eye. There's nothing left you could say. It wouldn't help anyway. This poison skin you can't touch. Go on without me, my love. No kiss to send. Let's read this before I share why I'm crying my eyes out. Okay, well, that doesn't really tell me anything. It was really just talking about how Travis uh, was working on the song. It was most likely one of the last songs to be finalized for the album. <sighs> the song hit me way too hard. I feel like any song that's kind of about losing someone or anything like under that umbrella, I just always think of my grandmother. And I think the thing that... I don't want to cry anymore. I think I'm going to take a second and I'll come back. Okay, so the reason I got so emotional is because of the line that says, um, the, this poison skin you can't touch, go on without me, my love. No kiss to send you away, it wouldn't help anyway. I feel like, and I could be completely wrong if this song is about Mark's cancer, um, but it just reminded me, my grandmother passed away from um, pancreatic cancer. And I just remember the nurses during her chemo telling me, uh, just make sure you're, you're constantly washing your hands or wearing a mask if you're taking her to the bathroom because you shouldn't be around. You know, you shouldn't get her urine on you, her puke on you, et cetera, et cetera. <sighs> and I feel like, hmm, I don't want to cry again. I just, that hit me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to calm the fuck down and then we'll get into the next song. Okay, we're going to get into Blink Wave. I swear to God, this better be happy as shit because I can't. I can't have a depressing Blink album right now. All right, let's go. 
is very 80s. What happens when you get older? A lot of songs about death. Not bad. I could have dealt without the synthesizer-ish parts of the song. I hate the 80s, like the sound of the 80s. So if that was stripped out, I would have loved this. Uh, Mark said Blink Wave is called that because it was the working title Synth Wave. Blink. Blink Wave. Makes sense. It would have been like Blink MP3, but it was a wave file. Get it? Okay, great. Just making sure you got it. Where's bad news? Oh, sorry. Bad news is first. Let's do that. Fuck, if any of these songs are sad, I'm gonna, like, lose that. I'm giving you bad, bad news. I think I might have fallen out of love with you. Okay. Years of fighting and hiding feelings. All those nights staring at the ceiling. Wow. So good. I keep on thinking that Is crazy. This is the last song I'll ever write for you. No more telling me I'm not right for you. Save your breath, there's nothing left to do. This is the last song I'll ever write for you. Oh, I love that. I'm giving you bad, bad news. I think I'm going to that sound I love that sound even more um wow I feel bad for that girl the song was mentioned uh, when Travis was answering the question goat blink 182 song with his daughter Alabama asking her why hers wasn't bad bad news as the song was still called that at the time the joking way in which Travis asked the question combined with the reaction of his daughter suggests the song will be a joke song which makes sense but it's still kind of a great song to just send over to your current boyfriend or girlfriend and be like I don't know how to say it but Blink did it for me <laughs> ouch okay let's listen to the interlude now it is called Hurt have you
that's pretty cool. All right, let's listen to Turpentine. What an interesting title name for a song. Soak your clothes with kerosene, cleanse the mind with ketamine, slide your mom on top of me. Wash yourself in turpentine! Turpentine, god damn it. Oh my god, I love this band so fucking much. They just make my heart so happy inside with their fucking bullshit. I wouldn't know what to do if these guys weren't around anymore. I'm so glad they're back. Alright, let's listen to Fuckface, because that's fitting. Wow. That is going to sound great live. And I bet it's going to be one of those like joke things between Mark and Tom where they're like, oh my God, you talk so much, Tom. And then the song will come on. <laughs> oh, I love Blink so much. Okay, this song is called Other Side. curious like who this song was about was it about tom because like they said um it will never be the same stage right and i know tom is always on the right of the stage but then again 
I don't know how stages work when you're on stage, because technically that would be stage left. Could be about Matt Skiba, could be about Tom, could be about something completely different, and I'm just making shit up, so. Let's get into the last song. I'm so stoked about this album. Okay, let's get into childhood. Last song. I see suns up in the sky Disappear before my eyes Whoa Whoa This is different Guess we're all desensitized Forgot the meaning of our lives Whoa Who the fuck are we? It's not his voice ending god i love this band so much oh my god okay it was a good album right if you hated it i hate you that was a great album come on the drumming sometimes i just zone out and i'm just like listening to the drums like what is he even doing i'm not a drummer i do love drummers i've tried to drum didn't work out but travis is a crazy drummer tom sounds delicious Mark sounds delicious. Their songs are great. The only one I didn't like was that like 80s sounding one, but like I'll still listen to it. Like, let's be real. Um, I don't think there's a skippable song on this album. Uh, the one that made me cry like a bitch, I probably won't listen to just for the simple fact that it makes me cry like a bitch. But other than that, I'll still listen to it eventually. I'm so proud of them. I am so happy for them that they got back together. I'm more happy as a fan that they got back together, but it's really nice to see that bands can, you know, talk through their shit and come back and have the best time. And they're like reliving their childhood right now, which is amazing. So I'm thrilled for them. All right, guys, this video is long enough. So I just want to thank you for watching. Let me know what your favorite songs are on this album. Give me your top three. I'm just super curious. If you want to go watch my reaction to nine, I don't, I didn't like it. So I'm just warning you ahead of time. I'm just not a big fan of Matt Skiba on a blank track. It just didn't fit for me. Other than that, it wasn't bad.
If you guys liked watching this, you can subscribe to my channel. I have tons of reactions that I upload pretty much every day. Um, I think I take, there's at least five videos a week, if not six, so it's pretty good. You should subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, turn your notifications on. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok if you want to support my channel financially. You can head over to Patreon because most of my videos are unmonetizable, so I make nothing. If you want to chat about Blink-182 with me, you can join my Discord server where there is a Blink-182 text channel. And we can talk about this awesome album. Oh, I'm so happy that they're back. I can't believe it's already like almost the end of October too. That's just fucking insane. Also, Vinyl of the Day is Paramore's This Is Why. It's a great album. Uh, I know like for a lot of you who are probably Blink fans, if you're not into Paramore due to their past albums, I would really recommend giving this one a chance. Just listen through it. If you want to watch me listen through it, you know, while you're listening through it for the first time, you can go and do that. But it's so good. It's definitely my favorite Paramore album, like ever. It's my top, it's it's top, it's the first. It's it's in first place. There are a couple albums where they were just like, nah, I just wasn't into it. They've got a little too pop for me, but this, this goes hard. So check it out, check it out. Don't listen to Re, This Is Why, until you've listened to the original album. Please, for the love of God, do not do that. Okay, promise? Great. See you guys in my next video.